Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna continue with our um, tissue add-on explorations. So, in the previous one, we know that we can basically provide a bunch of selections that, let's say, we have this um, grid and we select a couple of, uh, just a bunch of face, like so. And if you go back to object mode and we use something like like a cone for example let's make it 8 oops so let's say we have this cone and let's bring it up a little bit and we want to tissue this um, components into the base using the this tessellate operations we can actually select this unselected faces so instead of 729 faces we get only 171 faces will, will be created only on selected polygon face uh, let's try that so you see only only the polygon face that selected actually get the, the instance so that's a um, that's a nice idea but having to go to edit mode and then do a little bit of selections and do it again and again it's, it's quickly become like a a bit of a like, like a chore so I want to try to change that uh, by using stretch up um, let's try that let's delete this and save this real quick so this is SV selection procedural for tissue So let's say we want to do like selections, but in more procedural kind of way. How how do we do about going going that? There's one way to do that. That's pretty easy in Sketchup. You basically first of all you source the object. Just grab our grid, and then we can easily access the polygon face simply by using the object set. something like that and <clears throat> I believe we need to specify the polygons something like that <clears throat> so this will grab the polygons data data block and if you want to access every single polygon we use this uh, this mark like list select all of the polygons and if we want to see the the state of it being selected or not selected we can use another object ID set and check it out here select so you can see there's just all this value false 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 mean they are not selected true means they are actually selected so if I if I use um, an integer value which is one just plug this into that guy what's gonna happen is now every single polygon face is being selected if I actually use random number between 0 and 1 and get the least length of the polygon here plug into the size plug in this into the value into this guy what's gonna happen is Sfetchok gonna um, randomly select the polygon, polygon face in edit mode so if we go to edit mode you see it's been randomly selected if I randomize the seed go back inside you see it's it's already changing again I'll I'll prove it to you so basically with this guy being selected and this guy and then tessellate with the unselected faces we're gonna get this result um, if we go to top view orthographic we can see the result there if we randomize the seed well, actually, Blender crashes, so let's try again. Um, this actually, this um, setup is probably a little bit hacky, a little bit hacky. You can do this using uh, Python scripting, probably that's kind of a little bit more stable. But this still kind of works nicely for us, depending on, on what you're doing. So I'll randomize the seed a little bit. 
don't do it too fast otherwise blender will crash now we know that these guys have uh, random selections we're gonna apply this again see we have different result and let's do it one more time tessellate selected faces we get another different result see this one is different from this guy so yeah that's kind of nice um, let's first of all instead of using this component let's use a sphere chalk um, object let's use uh, our cylinder for example view viewer be mesh and let's have another viewer be mesh and another cylinder let's make this 8 and plug this into that guy so we have this cylinder and another one this one I'll make the the top radius actually make the top radius smaller like so and this guy maybe make it smaller and shorter or just just something like that is fine <clears throat> so we have alpha and beta objects and we want to apply the tissue operations into this guy but we want to do it in a in a kind of interchangeable uh, kind of invert of one another so let's say we do one uh, with with this guy is being selected procedurally so I'm gonna do the tessellations and then just hit apply so we have this for now um, and let's do another one but with this guy the fat one but we want to invert it here we're gonna use logic function and not so this guy goes in there and this one gonna invert the value so now if we apply this guy to this guy we're gonna get the invert you see how this is starting to makes a bit of sense um, so instead of random you can also um, use uh, let's say integer let's say we are using range integer and actually range float and this list link goes in to the count and this one start and stop let's see range start stepping and then use a modulo Just the modulo operation okay it's causing there stethoscope let's check the value my modulo should be two so we have like zero one zero one all the way up uh, until the total number of the polygons so this is basically like a checker pattern if we plug this into this guy and check in the edit mode you can see it's a checker pattern is being selected so now let's reapply the tissue operations we have uh, this result which is quite nice and let's do the opposite now And just simply by doing that, a couple of nodes operations, we now have the this kind of a checkered pattern result. See, it's very clear. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the whole process. It's a um, kind of uh, interesting, um, and this is how we can procedurally select. Um, objects uh, using spray chop and that's uh, gonna work together with uh, something like a tissue add-on okay so yeah that's pretty much it for this live learning hopefully it's useful for you um, if you have any question feedback let me know in the comment section below thanks again for tuning in bye